Alright, that wasn't. Alright, so, so that was an absolutely fantastic display uh, from the Ukrainian team, and I believe we're here now with Liquid, one of the pilots for the team. We'd like to give him a little bit of an interview, you know. Uh, Oscar, are you there? Oh yes, I'm here. I apologize. Uh, yeah, that was an incredible display. Awesome maneuvers there by Liquid, and an incredible overall look on that uh, beautiful SE27. That was a truly an awesome display. And I believe we have some questions. Corp is going to fire them at you and ask about the display, so go ahead. So I got six uh, decently simple questions for you. We were it was supposed to be me and Chris doing it, but uh, something happened with him. So it's just going to be you and uh, me having this interview. So uh, you ready for your questions? Fire away, mate. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here with you guys after that display. Thank you for having me. It's great. We're happy to have you. All right. So I got the first three questions are from Chris. All right. Uh, his first question <laughs> is, how did you find the display? I felt like that went very, very smoothly. Um, I've been preparing a lot of uh, training flights for this one. Obviously, the last show we had at uh, Burning Lake, completely different set, and you get used to the water, the lake, and the trees. And then coming back here to an airfield, took a little bit of adapting and getting used to flying the routine when I first learned it. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, a second question from Chris is, what's the hardest maneuver to fly and or practice during that demo? I'd probably say it's the, the slow high alpha. That's something that I've countless amount of times that I, I've tried to get right. Uh, the tail slides have become relatively simple to perform, but the slow high alpha, once you get to around that 200 kilometer speed, there is a lot of stick inputs and a lot of rudder inputs to keep it on the, the straight and narrow and not fall into the ground. Keep it nice and level and keep it going straight. And obviously power management in any high alpha is key. <laughs> Yeah, from exper from experience, you got to get that that uh the throttle control in there right, as well as the balance. You don't tip yeah, over to the yeah. left or right. Kind of get a uh, a wave going on there. Chris also wants to know uh what plans do you have for future air shows? Do you have any other scheduled? Do you have any homecoming shows scheduled? Uh, nothing at the moment. Only the uh, the SU twenty seven. She's she's be basically become. Uh, a bit of a baby to me and I always feel like I'm coming home when I jump into the cockpit of the SU-27 but no other plans as of yet but hopefully we'll see everybody at uh, VIAF in 2023 later on in the year. Great that's absolutely fantastic and yeah there's going to be a bunch of shows coming up over the next couple of months so or at least a couple of years we you know uh, they usually just get scattered around I would guess. All right so uh we do have uh plenty of time for this so we got three more questions for you these are questions from me uh have you ever contacted the real team for a partnership uh unfortunately i haven't um strangely enough i had plans to 
before the the conflict started um i was hoping the ukrainian guys would be coming back over to the uk and i would get the chance to obviously speak to the pilot and introduce myself and basically if if it wasn't for those guys you know i wouldn't be flying in ukrainian colors in dcs so unfortunately i never really had the chance to make any contact with them officially sounds good i would i would love to see you get in contact with them you know seeing a team sponsored by the real team just like uh virtual thunderbird is sponsored by the thrustmaster uh company and other companies sponsored by winwing i know yeah. the virtual blue angels have had affiliations with the actual blue angels so it's always good to have another team doing that uh have you started any other solo or formation teams before uh not officially no i i done like various things on the beautiful world that is youtube of just messing around in other jets and things like that but in terms of an official demo it's always been uh, the su-27 i feel like the su-27 can be a little bit neglected in the dcs community so it's good to have something a little bit different in amongst all the the other teams yeah, like there's too many F-18 and F-16 teams these days. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit of variety yeah. can be good, you know? Variety is the spice of yeah. life, as they say. Yeah. A lot of the Russian planes seem to get neglected recently. I don't know. It's just I feel like there's like a more American presence in DCS now or like European presence where people are going targeting like the P-51, the F-18, the F-16. And coming from my experience and owning a team that uses the Yak-52, I know little to no people who unironically own that plane. Yeah. So, um, yeah, trust me, I believe you there. And it's a very uh, my rewarding... final... Sorry, oh, sorry to interrupt you. It's a very re uh, rewarding little plane to fly, the Yak-52. It really is. It's a great little aircraft. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, I, I've only flown it once or twice without putting the T6 mod over it for sky typers. Yeah. But, um, I do recommend buying it. It's a good little plane if you're doing, um aerobatics or like if you're trying to get as close as you can to the civilian world that's like the s most civilian plane you can really get other than the christian eagle yeah um yeah and my final question for you uh before we cut it short uh how long have you been in the display community You've either flying owning teams being affiliated with people uh this is officially now my my fourth year of doing this and again same thing with the the su 27 uh it's it's a fantastic community honestly if if one thing that i can say whilst i'm here is the amount of amazing people that are in this community that give their time their dedication not just to running shows but all the teams that fly formations to all the solos that train we've got a, an amazing bunch of people here and it and it's it's a pleasure to be involved with so regularly to be honest that sounds absolutely fantastic. Well, that seems to be the end of the questions I we have. Unless also you hate have to interrupt. I hate to interrupt, but we do have to do the giveaway. I we, oh, we have yes. to get to it. Uh, so, we are, although we are ten minutes ahead of schedule, so it's all good. We're going to announce the giveaway now. So hopefully, everyone in the chat has been entered into the giveaway. If you haven't, we're going to leave it up for one.